Okay, and actually what you want to do is actually feel, okay, when you come up, you're also using the wrist. It's just not, uh, uh, okay, it's here, from the very top, the wrist just sinks. It sinks with everything else. So the wrist, to your wrist, it comes out like this, okay, here straight, and then just comes down. There's a movement here, very slight. You probably don't even know when I come up, when I come down. Okay, that's the settlement. This is the subtle part of doing this stuff. Okay, ready? Come up. Go down, sink, and then lift up the left, the end, and step. Then you land, press, push from the back. Go back, open, close. Take a step out to the left, look to your right, single width. Come back, form an L. Take okay, a step back, step out with the right, you look to your left. Take okay, a step out with the right, all your hands, you look to the left. Take okay, a step out to the right, you look to your hands, come back, open, close. Energy ball. Now, left over right, press down, open up, brush knee to the right. Extend out the right hand, come back, lay the loop. Twist the left. Extend out the right, take another step with the right, extend out the left, take another step up, suppress and punch. Cross the hands, come back, and go back to the empty stands, step forward in the seven star stand, press. Then come back, open and close. For those who've been here a while, now we actually energy ball right over left, Press down, open up, brush knee to the left. Turn the hand, right hand comes forward, come back, take another step, press forward, come, the right hand comes back, turns, and then goes forward, step again, step back on the heel, open, close, okay? Ready? Any questions? You get back, and if you notice, you do this, and then you do a couple of movements, 
then I go, da, 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 da. then you open and close it. So you're like, when you go like this, do, do, do. you know, I'm just doing it really okay? You go back, then you do open and close. You do uh, boom, 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 here, and they open and close. These open and closes is to get you back when you're totally centered, when your breath is correct. That's that's the reason for it. It's just not corny. You know? It's actually getting you centered, using your diaphragm, inhale, and going back to intent. We, we have a little bit of, okay? So when you come up here, you want to really feel the inside. You want to feel your joints. When you sink, you want to really just sink down into the ground. And then when you go as far as you can go, then you stick out your, your foot. It is gentle light. You can still bring it back. You know, it's very light. It's not like, uh, okay? It has to be light. And then you slowly put energy into your foot. And then push off your back foot as this more weight goes on this way. And it goes slower. Okay? So this is intention. Intention is actually you tend to do it straight. There's a slight movement in the wrist. You come down, sink, take a step. Land, come up, press. Okay? So intention involves really having an awareness, okay? And actually, it's almost like a mirror that you're actually looking at yourself doing something. You do this particular move. So you really con you concentrate. And that's why, like say we used to say, you do it slow, not to do it slow. You can do it slow to feel your whole body. Okay? So let's do it again. This is intention. Come up slowly. Just really feel. Use your mind right here. Then we sink. Really good, but it hurts on your legs, right? Okay. 
again to be a little smell. Okay, so the horse is really good for you, but the thing is that you have to do it properly. Any questions on that? Did I help you out? Okay. Pardon me? What would be properly? Okay, properly is the two feet should be parallel with each other. If you actually extend them out, then the knee should face out because actually you're you're putting too much pressure okay. on the knees. Okay. See if you look you're like what you're doing right now, it has to be okay. If you do it that way, they have to really press out. The knees have to press out. Because okay. if you go if you go here and then you have the knees in, yeah. you're hurting your knees. You're not doing health. Mine are out, aren't they? If they're okay. Yeah. Okay. But it's better to actually have them a little bit more square. Okay. This is actually a fighting one. This is a shorter horse that I want to do. And then the thing is you keep your back straight, all right? And then the thing is you come up to your uh, your ribs. And then you keep relaxing, you start sinking after a while.
So you see the difference? I've seen like um, three, three of the moves that we actually do in our. You do? Yes, and our oral you know, and then we do the Tai Chi and you know. The, mm -hmm. the okay, well, you did the. the I see the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then. Yeah. Wow. You know, yeah. Do you see the difference? So it seems more like focused a little stronger, maybe a little up tempo for what we're doing. Yeah, and it's also hard. Yeah. And notice I'm actually putting. Yes. Of course, it's more like fighting. Yeah, yeah but it's not. It, the, 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 okay, it is fighting, uh, but you're using all the principles of hard bone that you actually put a lot of energy into your hands. And there's less of them. Yeah, there is no food man, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's, that's what's called hard bone. So, so what you're doing, so you can see the difference, that's soft bone. Okay, um, G O N G, and uh, you know soft energy. So we're working with soft energy. Anytime you're putting a little too much force, okay, which which this one is. Okay, this is a, a, a well actually a Tony Flex set and uh, uh, internal set. And there's a lot more power. And see, the thing is, from the horse. I actually my my power has to come from the horse. The okay. horse is the position of the thighs, yes. yeah, the legs. Yeah, the, the energy comes up here and comes out the hand. It comes up the spine and comes out. And if you notice, I'm actually doing spiral. Okay, I'm doing a spiral motion with the arm. With the arm. I don't know if you notice that. Okay, it spirals around. Okay, it's different. It actually because the thing is, you're you're doing the force and it's actually spiraling. Okay. Yeah, it's different, really different. So you're, but you're still using the tendons and the joints, okay? But it's different, and it's a little harder, okay? So, so when you guys go a little too hard, that's when when I say soften up. I'm trying to uh, let you see the difference between a little too stiff, because actually there's a stiffness in what I was just doing. There's a little bit. <laughs> that's where you see the power. It's like stiff. Okay, and so I just believe like stiff is being close to, to death because you know we're, we're like stiffs. <laughs> no, really, no, no. I mean that's that. No, that's what they say. And the thing is, is a, a baby is all you know. Well, my babies were really. I couldn't believe you're so flexible and then they get stiff after a while. But they're all loose, especially when they're a couple of months and they <coughs> what they call it. They, Worm all over the ground. <laughs> Creeping. Creeping. Well, I, no, no. Roll, roll. Roll, roll. roll. Uh, roll, roll. Oh, roll yourself over. And then he didn't even want to. Yeah. Wait. Uh, any questions?